One of the worst accidents in recent Formula One history occurred during qualifying. Martin Donnelly's Lotus crashed head-on into a guardrail at 160 miles an hour, cutting the car in half and throwing Donnelly to the middle of the track, still strapped to the seat. Track officials and observers feared the worst, but remarkably, Martin survived the crash. Although he did suffer two broken legs, a broken collarbone, nose, left cheekbone, a fractured skull, and a punctured lung. A huge accident on Saturday morning involving Alex Caffey. His luck ran out when his new footwork collided with the barriers. He too was out of the race. Studying the replay, it's amazing that from such a collision, Caffey could emerge relatively unscathed. Indeed, it's a testament to the improved safety standards in Formula One that he was not seriously injured. The car was a write-off. It was lifted off the track in segments. The whole of the back end... Berger will have the advantage of the toe up the feet. Suppose you'll be getting a toe from Berger, but... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, you... Well, let us hope and pray that Ricardo Patrese is all right as he clouted Gerhard Berger's car. You saw he is all right, I think. You can see his head moving. He's got the visor up. You can see his eyes. But my goodness, that, that, was, that could have been a terrible, terrible accident. It was bad enough. Aujourd'hui, les choses sérieuses. Premiers essais, premières émotions fortes. Sortie très violente de la Lotus de Zanardi en haut du Rédillon. Et il en a évité de peu un autre accrochage entre Senna et Andretti. Cela dit, on a eu très peur, mais après un examen approfondi, l'on apprend que le pilote italien va bien et qu'il prendra peut-être même part demain. Now watch for the white helmet of Martin Brundle. Left to your screen, lower left. Oh. Bang. Oh. Oh, I was wondering it didn't knock him out cold. Oh, oh. It didn't take his head off. Yes, it wonder, it Irvine's it. Jordan. Really, Irvine was just doing the same thing. Should he have looked at his mirrors? Well, he probably did. Now, there's Martin Brundle being approached by one of the rescue workers. There's the scene of the devastation from the accident. Halfway into his first lap on slicks, Schumacher pushed too hard too soon. Imola's new safety measures being put straight to the test in what was a very big shunt. A sensational start by Eddie Irvine in the Ferrari who indeed is up to second place and Schumacher has passed the Williams. Down into third and fourth position goes David Hillen. Wow, that's one of the Jordans. This is what we feared at this corner and that looks very nasty indeed. The Jordan goes flying through the air into the wall. There is absolutely no doubt that the Australian Grand Prix will be stopped. Indeed, the red flag has gone out. It's Martin Brundle and miracle of miracles. Have a look at it again. Now watch the Jordan, the gold car, in the centre of your picture. Watch the McLaren. Watch the McLaren there. It's David Coulthard who moves slides sideways. He runs into Martin Brundle making up a good start. Martin Brundle's Jordan goes over spectacularly. What a tremendous tribute to the strength of these Formula One cars. The FIA have progressively increased the strength of the cars and when that machine is turned over I think Martin will just not believe he managed to get out of that and you can see he's he's absolutely fine. And see what happened, here he is. Now he's coming out of turn four. Coming out of turn four and the rear of the car just started to bounce, dancing away, lost the rear end, got completely sideways, one impact on the right wall then severe into the left wall again. That's a big impact. Yeah, turn four, very worried Cesare Fiorio and uh, Prost. Now, uh, looks like he's got some problems with his legs trapped in there, Murray, but uh, the guys are trying to get him out very gently. Great start by Eddie Irvine, field up, look at field up, and into the wall, who was that? Coulthard, it's Coulthard, Coulthard in the wall. Maybe Coulthard in the wall will stop the race, they'll have to the race. They'll have to oh, red this flag is terrible. Look, oh, this is quite appalling. This is the worst start for a Grand Prix that I have ever seen in the whole of my life.